Hi, I'm John Bro. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Let's go to the next world. That's Glanker's Cavern. Except first. Well, I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll do the jigsaw puzzle thing for Clanker's Cavern, but right after that, uh, I'm gonna have to go back to Treasure Trove Go uh, Treasure Trove Cove. If you wanna place all your pieces into the picture, just plaz. But yeah, the first thing I want to do is go back to Treasure Trove Cove and get the Mumbo's token that I missed, because I know it's there and it's gonna bug me if I don't get it. But one of the plus sides to this little excursion. This little out of the way detour, well that's redundant. Out of, out, of, <clears throat> out of the way detour is redundant. Yeah. Sorry, one of the plus sides is that we will be able to see what a level looks like once we return to it after leaving. So obviously my missing this one Mumbo's token and returning to this vacation was completely intentional. You know, just like you'd intentionally leave your cell phone in Hawaii to uh, go, but no, never mind. Yeah, but it's right behind the enemy crab, giant enemy crab. Nipper. Hey, this is Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Well, I could have used your help earlier. Okay, so here it is. The elusive Ikumbokum token. But yes, as you can see, he's back. We killed him before, but now he's back. All the enemies have risen from the dead and are now roaming the earth once more. All the musical notes are back. Basically, it's just the only things that don't come back once you re-enter a world are the essential things that carry over into other other worlds, like, you know, the Mumbo's tokens and the Jiggies. There's a Jinjo down there. The Jinjos also reappear, but you don't get the Jiggy back whenever you get them all again. Die, crab! I said die, crab! Thank you. Okay, so now we can go to Clanker's Cavern. Do, 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 do. I like the way the music changes every, every time you go into a new area. That's just cool. Banjo killed Harry Potter! Okay, so this is the entrance, as I probably mentioned before. Yeah, I did. The way you get across this giant gap, easy to miss, but you'll probably find it eventually, so this isn't really that big of a deal. Hit that switch with the Beak Buster. Platforms raise, and you can get across. To what is, uh... Well, this isn't considered one, uh, to be one of the harder worlds in the game. Shut up, Grundy! But it is... Definitely, it does definitely have a, a hard part to it. Just the one you moved to find this time, but it's hidden well. Yeah, we'll find it. It's not hidden that well, I know exactly where it is. So yeah. I'm just gonna say right now, I love the music in this place. This is possibly, possibly my favorite music in the game. And this game is full of great music. Wonderfully, uh, wonderfully catchy music. And that seems to be one thing that's very consistent in Rare. Game, games made by Rare. Really, really catchy music. Well, I can't sing well, so never mind. Luckily, uh, lucky you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. I bet I know what the move is! So, you know, there are these giant slug monsters. We're gonna see. We're there. We're gonna be seeing a lot of repeat enemies in this game, because this is the first time we see enemies that pop out of the walls like this, and we're, they're going to be a whole lot more that act just the same. So, Jinjo, do a Jinjo roll. All right. This place looks like a giant toilet. Just look at this. Uh, and another thing that's very consistent with rare games is that they always seem to have some sort of really metallic, rusty level with lots of pipes. Like Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 in this game. This game actually has two levels like that. So, this is rather uneventful, not too interesting start, isn't it? It's not going to get more interesting anytime soon. Oh my goodness, what is that mouth? 
at the end of the Holy crab. This here is Clanker. A giant shark whale cyborg thing. What? I will get into more reasons why I think he's a giant shark metal cyborg or shark whale cyborg later, I guess, because it's really not clear what he is. I haven't done any research on this matter, but I don't think he's like set to be a shark or a whale or a cyborg, even though he's clearly made of metal slightly. But the first thing that you're going to want to do upon entering this part of the level is go into this area down here. Luckily, this is the first area you're, you're supposed to go to, because this is definitely the hardest area in the game to get to. Uh, I would highly recommend trying to get all the notes the first time you go through here. And there's a Jinjo down here, which I actually spent an hour looking for in my last recording. A full hour. So I dubbed it the uh, elusive green water-breathing Jinjo. Okay, I... Uh, it's gonna be a really bad place to stop if I mess this up. Get the bubble. Yes, bubble! Okay, that was awesome. Yeah, you can see why this is uh, not a very easy part. I want another bubble. Give me another bubble, give me another bubble. Yes, give me another bubble. Yes, give the bear lots of air. Okay. So I, I believe there are... I don't know how many notes there are. I should have counted beforehand. That would have been really useful. But you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be down here very much. I'd rather be down here as few times as I can possibly be, because this is one of the worst parts of the, of the game, in my opinion. These bubbles are coming from. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Grab my bubbles. Yes. Well, the, what you're really supposed to do here is swim through this key three times. Once you swim through the key three times, then Clanker rises out from the, uh... Oh, that was cool. Did Gloop just swim through the key himself? Too bad that doesn't help us any, but that's cool. I, I've never seen him do that before. Give me the bubble. Feels like I'm playing Rayman 2. Following the magic whale. Okay, there's the elusive green water-breathing Jinjo. Yeah. Spent a full hour looking for this guy. And then after I found him, I died. So that was great. I bet you would have wanted to see that. Bloop. Swam through again. But it only counts if we swim through it. Some like bear mechanics. And Clanker rises. Rises from the toilet water. I wouldn't want to be in there either. But yeah, you can see how creepy Clanker looks. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So the reasons I think that Clanker is a giant shark whale cyborg, uh... Well, the reasons I think he's part shark is that look at this giant tail fin. I mean, it couldn't belong to a whale, even though he's huge, because whales have, like, the sideways fin, tail fin, and... Well, Clanker has, you know, the typical shark kind of tail, and he has the typical shark back fin, too. And he has the shark teeth and all that stuff. But look at this, he has a blowhole just like a whale. And, when, and he asks for fresh air. So that would, just, that would, that would make it, me assume that he's part mammal if he wants fresh air. And then... I think he's partly cyborg, because so look at all these weird red parts of him. Like, I think that's a little bit too red to be rust, and so that's that's always creeped me out about this guy. I mean, he's, like, bleeding from the sides. You can see his internal organs. Gold. Bzzz. What do you have to say this time? Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. <laughs> what? You eat too mu- Okay. So you're like a- you're like a rat now. Now you're a shark whale cyborg rat. You eat garbage. You should be more like Remy. Remy doesn't eat garbage. If you are what you eat, I only want to eat the good stuff. And another- oh my goodness, I'm so scared of the monster that I already knew was there, so I hit it before I got to it. Musical notes. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I want to get that. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. And I used to think that um, over there where I jumped, just jumped off, I thought there was a way to... Um, like, there's some platforms above my head here that you might not be able to see very well that I thought you could only get by jumping over there, but no, there's a much easier way to do that. And I guess I could get everything inside of Clanker. I could fix his teeth now, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I don't feel like it. Although I can totally understand why his teeth hurt. Because I had my wisdom teeth taken out recently, and that was a whole week-long experience of me not being able to eat as much as I usually do. Which was especially sad on my trip, because everyone kept offering me Coca-Cola, and I couldn't drink carbonated beverages. I must have been offered that like six times. I tweeted about this. But now, since I, uh, I can have Coca-Cola, I am, uh, I have a bottle next to me. And the reason for this is, well, I've, I've been honestly kind of tired my latest recordings. So I'm trying to... Jinjo! Whee! Uh, I'm trying to be less tired in my recordings. Imagine that. And so I'm figuring Coca-Cola might help, or I could just say Coke. I mean, why does anyone bother saying Coca-Cola, the whole word, or the whole... No, I wanted to get those! Uh, well, let's go back. But the strange thing is, I think, or I used to think, when I was younger, and I think this still applies to me, actually, I still think this, uh, I used to kind of use as an excuse to drink Coke, uh, that it made me tired. Like, you know, the usual excuse for not being able to drink Coke at a young age is, oh, it makes you hyper. Okay, go. Yes. Ah, oh, but I still wanted to get that. Let's try this again. But I used to always say that Coke made me tired, and that's why I would want to drink it. Really, it was just an excuse because, well, it was something unhealthy to drink. I mean, how great is that compared to, you know, the typical water or milk? Or apple juice, or grape juice. What? I made that jump. I am so sorry you have to see me fail so many times. But the thing is, I think that Coca-Cola... Coke. Why do I keep saying all the whole word? I think it actually does kind of make me tired. Like, that might sound strange to think that a caffeinated beverage makes you tired, but I really think it does. Like, something about Coke... I'm gonna cut this time. Okay, I made the jump. Hooray. Hooray! I made the jump! I'm such an accomplished sportsman! And what's down here? Excellent! And what's up here? It's just a life, we don't need that. We don't need a life. But yeah, to finish my coke story. I think it actually does make me tired. But the strange thing also is that... Oh, and we've got one Honey Nut Cheerio, here's another one right here. Under this pipe. Really, really weird place to look for this, but... Uh, when I drink Coke, it makes me tired, but it doesn't make me sleep. So, I think it's actually a really bad idea for me to be drinking Coke right now. Because I stay up late and I'm tired the whole time, so my eyes are tired and... Whatever. But it's still worth a try, right? Everything's worth trying once. I know you're in there, I'm not gonna bother with you. You're not worth it. Why is this video so full of fail? Just go up the pipe. Go up the pipe, Banjo. Musical note. Feather. Erg. Other feather that we can't use. Erg. I don't remember the noise I made for the feather. Musical note. Oh, I, oh, I thought, it, I thought we were done. Okay, I did not see you there that time. Not that you're a big deal. Okay, so a lot of these, uh, a lot of these other jiggies that we're supposed to get in the stage are either inside of Clanker or in these areas on the side. Or there are lots of pipes underwater. Like there are those big pipes that you can clearly see, and then there are passageways on the side. So I'm probably gonna get those done in the next episode because it's getting kind of, kind of close to 15 minutes. And usually I try to stop roughly around 15 minutes. Let's see how many G... Oh, two? Well, it took like 20 minutes to get the... the seven Jiggies from the last world, so maybe I'll go a little bit more and then stop. Where can I go? What do I want to do here? 
Oh, I know what I can do. Yeah, right here. Let us just sit here on this nut over the blowhole and come up here. And the great thing about what I just said is that it's perfectly appropriate in context. Note. I, I said note. Logic would denote that I need to get those notes. Gulp. Jiggy number three! Excitement. We are pressing onward through this dingy cavern. We are going spelunking and splashing and other stuff that starts with SPL. Well, that spelunking doesn't start with SPL, never mind. Okay, I'm sorry I have to do this, Clanker, but I'm gonna have to remove your teeth. I know how it feels. Of course, whenever I got my wisdom teeth removed, they didn't shoot giant ostrich-shaped or ostrich-sized eggs at my teeth. So, I don't know how it feels. Whoa, you have big eyes. And what large teeth you have! Just get me this last one. Make you slightly less ugly with that by removing that shiny tooth. Toothache this side gone, Clanker swallowed. Toothache this side gone? Clanker swallowed? I am Yoda. Or Yoda I am. Hmm? Uh, just go. Just go. I'm wasting eggs. I'm wasting eggs. Pew! At last. Ah, this tooth not hurt now. I wonder why. Maybe it's because it's not there anymore. And I think we're going to end this video off by getting one more Jiggy, and this one's really easy to get. As many are, but it'll get harder much, much harder later. Maybe not in this level, maybe not in the next level, maybe not in the next level. Neville. Okay, now we're making more Harry Potter references, accidentally this time. In the next Neville... <sighs> but since I'm going over here on these teeth, I might as well get this Ikambokum token. And now we will finish things off. I mean, that now we will finish the video off and finish things off in the next video. Uh... Yes. And cue new ending thing.